Any, any thoughts on Ben and what, what he's meant to the program all these years? Yeah, I mean, ben, Ben's been here for a long time, so uh, we knew that this was a possibility. We were hopeful that um, he, could, he could get back and be ready for us to play. Um, from the, and I'm sure he told you guys, but it's just too risky. And um, as much as I would love him to play for us this year, and, and he would love to do that, it's just not not worth the risk. Uh, he's got a future in life and possibly in football too. So um, the time he doesn't work out that well, and and um, you know, I just I'm just uh, thankful that he's uh, what he's done for us. And I mean, he's just going to transition to a different role, but. Uh, you heard from the guys; they still love him. They, I mean, he's a big part of the team, so he's a leader, a captain for us. We just we're going to need him in a different way. But uh, you know, it's it's a it's a good thing he's still working with our backers and, and mentoring them and bringing them along the way because he knows this place and he, he he's put a lot of a lot of investment here. So I think it's important to him that, that we have we have success. He said to us, "Don't cry because I'm gone." cry because I was here that kind of just epitomizes a student athlete to me you know somebody yeah. who left it all out there well and he's 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 he does it for all the right reasons and uh that's what you want your guys to be when when you get to coach them and so I I'm it's an honor for me to to be connected to him and his family and to be his coach and you know I'm still gonna be connected to him uh no matter what he does so He'll be with us though, and um, it's just sad that he won't be with us on the field making plays. But he had a he had a devastating injury, and that was it's a hard one to come back from. And um, we're we're in, we're in a time now where we can see uh, the 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 risks, you know, um, compared to when I played even. So uh, I think it's important that that we do what's best for him and his future. And I think he'd be willing to sacrifice all of it. But uh, we all thought that when we were in our 20s, you know, so. I think I think he's going to transition and, and move and move on and we'll see if, if, if he can still uh, there's still a small chance that he, he can still play football again so we'll, we'll have to see how the recovery goes but at this time it, it was uh, not going to be able to do that with him right now but he he'll he'll transition to a different role. Kalani, when, when you look at the quarterbacks, uh, realistically, when, what's kind of the time frame of when you want to sell who's going to be QB one, QB two, and kind mm. of that figured out in camp. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm not, it's not a deadline thing. It's just a feel and uh, how we see the, the, the team's doing, you know. So right now, I, I can tell you it's not going to happen this week, you know. But um, and, and, and both guys did a great job. And, and I mean, all four quarterbacks did a great job today. But uh, their job is to make it hard on us to, to make the decision. But I feel comfortable having a bunch of guys that can do it. So uh, the, we'll just go with the best one. Right now, that, that one hasn't stood out yet. But I like that all four have done a great job today. How many well, guys and then, are getting first team reps at quarterback? What's that? How many guys are getting first team reps? At well, we had split. We did. You saw what we did today. So we split it to get more reps, which is going to be. Uh, I mean, it's good for for both sides, but it'll tax on you a little bit. But uh, in order for us to get reps for everybody and to compete, we have to do that. And, and uh, our guys are in pretty good shape. I mean, we went through a script of a bunch of plays and. And we got done early. We did no huddle stuff, and the guys are a lot cleaner than what we've been. You can see that they've put a lot of work in the offseason, and, and uh, it, it, there's uh, not a lot of mistakes that were made. I mean, in terms of the, the uh, assignments, um, the alignment of the assignment, the, the technique needs a little work, but that's that's because we, we're day one. But the uh, I like what I'm seeing from the guys, and, and we'll just have to keep keep plugging around. I mean, the, for day one, there's good. We, we just need to keep improving every day. Have you done that before, uh, split the team sessions up? Yeah, but maybe not as as much today. As, um, yeah, I mean, I know you guys saw the end, but I think the good part of the day was, I mean, when we went against each other, was split, and I think I think we'll we'll keep doing that. Um, we'll have to play with it a little bit and um, see how how our, our legs are going. Luckily, we have a sports scientist that can tell if we're if we're overworking them or not. When you look at L.J. Martin in the backfield, in what ways has he kind of evolved from the end of last season to the start of fall camp? Yeah, I mean, L.J. looks like he's way more comfortable. When he's, when he's a true freshman, he's getting used to everything, the locker room, college life, all of that. Now he's, he's, it's like he, it's night and day difference. He's a leader now, and he's helping Pokai and, and Sion and the others, you know. And, and, then, and then you bring back uh, uh, Hinkley, Ropati. And Miles Davidson, those guys are doing a great job. I, I like the running back, running back group right now. Uh, when it comes to a day one, just kind of overall big picture, is, is there a tone you like to set? Do you have boxes that you like to see checked? And if so, how many of those boxes did you check? Yeah, my, my concern, I mean, I'm just going to tell you this because you asked the question, but I'm always going to look at the front and see how, how good we did there. It's easier for me to see today from the O-line 
that it was clean, a lot of the looks. Uh, I don't I don't think Jay was doing too much on defense, but um, it's, it's good that the O-line weren't making a lot of mistakes and, and we were actually able to move the ball. So um, we'll see if they can do that against the install for tomorrow with defense. But uh, TJ Woods has made a big difference for that front, and, and that, that's something that I was uh, eyeballing today. Fairly veteran unit on that O line. What can mm-hmm. you learn about them early on without pads on? Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, you look at Connor and and Caleb and Waylon and Braden. Those guys are all very comfortable. They they've been through uh, you know position battles and things like that. So I think they feel really comfortable. Um, it, it's getting the next guys up. And then what I like with it, that they've done all summer is take you know teaching the the next guy up um, and and doing it themselves, not relying on our coaches to do it. So uh, just impressed with it. We'll just we'll just see how it keeps. I, I, I look at the film, but my overall opinion is that the O line is, is, is right where I want them to be. What would you like to accomplish in the next three weeks as a team? As a whole? Yeah, we got to be ready to roll, man. I I I, uh, <laughs> I, I want us to be at, at really good. I mean, these guys are in, in great shape. We obviously have to work through it and be in game shape in, in the next three weeks. But I, I just need to see the guys be be. Um, we need to be hitting at all cylinders, and that's all three phases. And I, I think this is a good start to it. You expect to and Aquila to show up at all camps? Yeah, they're they're getting their they're, if they're not here, they're getting their academic stuff in order. Um, that sometimes that takes take, that takes some time. We've had that happen in the past, but um, yeah, they're, they're we're, we're 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 anticipating them being here. I don't think we saw LJ out there. What's his status? LJ was out there. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was okay, practicing. No, I, maybe we was were. He in the team sessions, perhaps. Yeah, but so the, we're rotating quite a bit when, 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 um, with with him and Miles. We want to see what Pokai and Sion and and um, and, and Jovesa, those guys can do. So, uh, but yeah, he was practicing with all of them. Have you? Has your team named Captain Jed like the leadership council at all? And how important is that to have that established early? We have a leadership council, and we have a captain that went into summer. But in terms of team captains, we'll we'll worry about that in the next little bit. I think it's important to get get to football and uh, play football and see who the leaders are and who the guys vote that want to represent them on on the coin toss and in, in you know on the team. So we'll, we'll probably get to that in in a week and a half or two. What's Gary Anderson's role going to be? Yeah, he's a consultant as um, and he, you know he's he's has a connection to myself and A Rod and 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 Jay. So uh, I think he's spending a lot of time with the defense and with Jay uh, first of all, and then anytime he can. Uh, Consult and see what he what he sees as a head coach, and I mean he's got tons of knowledge, and and um, and he also knows the O line. So I mean he's he's a guy that's came from the uh, Ron McBride tree, so he's been been around and on the offensive side of football, and he he, he knows exactly what what it should look like up front, which is which is I need more eyes up front, and he's he's, he's been very helpful for us. Last question. Anything else? Are, are you good at scrimmage on Saturdays? We noticed that we're not going to have media availability. Yeah, we will. I think I think not this this Saturday, but next. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if it's a Saturday, but it might be midweek, and then uh, we'll scrimmage. We have on schedule. We have scrimmage uh, on Saturday, and another scrimmage in the evening. An evening scrimmage, mm-hmm. mock game type of deal. So the two major scrimmages, and then a few ma- um, live work in the uh, couple days of live work. Uh, not the full scrimmage, but but maybe 30 to 50 plays.